Hi there, let me show you the simplest way to get started to debug a mini dump using WinDebug. Okay, so let's get started. I have already opened WinDebug and have loaded the memory dump and cleared the screen. So the first command that I'm going to run is simfix. What this command does is that it sets the window symbols for WinDebug. The window symbols are basically the symbols that are needed to read the Windows API names. The symbols are set on a Microsoft server, but if you set simfix, then WinDebug will acquire those URLs and it will download symbols from the Microsoft server. WinDebug also needs symbols for the dump. What I've done is that I've put the symbols for the dump, the PDB files, in the same folder as the dump. So this way, WinDebug loads the PDBs automatically. Then, what I do is I run analyze minus V. Um, what this does is that it begins the analysis and it's going to dump out quite a lot of information. I'll just explain uh, a bit about the information it's going to dump out and uh, we'll try to see uh, what created this mini dump. So the first piece of information are the key value strings. I am going to skip over this because this is mostly for debugging. Uh, the analysis tool itself, um, don't really care that much about it. I want to jump ahead to the context. So the context is the set of registers that were captured when the mini dump was captured. If this mini dump was captured exactly at an exception point, then the context will be that exception point. And in my case, it is an exception. I created this mini dump myself, so naturally I, well, created an exception in it, which was an integer divided by zero. So my exception record shows where it happened and it shows what happened, which is an integer divided by zero. If I move down, I get uh, the stack trace. The stack trace is probably the most important part of the exception record because it contains not only the function that uh, crashed, but it contains uh, the entire stack all the way to the bottom. The most important part of the stack trace is to check that the bottom of the stack is anti-DLL RTL user trade start, which is the start of the trade. And if you don't have this in the bottom, then you probably have a corrupted stack. In my instance of WinDebug, I've also copied and the source code to a location that can be found um, in the PDB, which is here. So WinDebug opens the source code by itself. Um, I will show you this technique in a future video. It's quite handy because I get to see the faulting line over here. And the faulting line is because I wrote zero for the X over here in the source code causing this crash. Below the um, faulting line uh, is a bunch of information about uh, what kind of module was running when this uh, memory dump was taken and the command that was used by analyze-v in order to get the stack. This is uh, very important. Uh, below that, there is a bit more information about the OS and the platform that it was running. Uh, nothing too interesting there. Uh, and there you have it. That is probably the shortest WinDebug memory dump tutorial that I could think of, which can get you started. It's basically just setting symbols and running analyze minus V. Okay, um, post your comments below. And uh, if you have a memory dump that you need help with or need some explanation, feel free to post it in the comments and send it to me. I will see what I can do about it. Uh, if you like what you see and would like to support the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Until next time, I'm High Voice, signing out.